Hello, I'm Goth Mom Donna of the Grave Robbers Ministry. I would like to introduce you to a group of Goths from around the world that are born-again Christians who love Jesus. And um, I would like to show you that it's okay to be a Goth and a Christian. I've been a Goth since a teenager, even before it had a name. And um, love the look, love the clothes, love the culture. But I was always kind of bothered with how the church accepts people that have um, a different outer appearance. Hello, my name is Donna Sheehy, also known as Goth Mom Donna of the Grave Robbers Ministry. The Grave Robbers Ministry is a goth ministry of uh, born again Christians that love Jesus that uh, want to share their faith with other Goths around the world. And um, I've been a Christian for a very long time and a Christian Goth for a very long time too. And um, a lot of people have asked me over the years, can a Goth be a Christian? And my reply to that is yes. Jesus Christ died for everyone, even Gothic people. Yeah, well, God created the sky and he clothed it with darkness and with the stars. And so he's the creator of all things and the beautiful thing with the darkness um, that's his it's Satan who tries to steal everything that's beautiful and when it comes to music and the dark tones all of the beauty even in uh, classical music that it, that all originated from God who's the creator and um, Isaiah 45 3 I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places Gothic is really a state of mind. I think everybody has sort of their own take on what goth is, what it means. Um, I think actually what it means to them is kind of personal, to be honest. Sort of appreciation for the darker or dramatic um, aesthetics. Gothic people generally choose not to reject it, but instead to embrace it and see the beauty in it. I've always liked kind of like the darker things and more the macabre and the more I discovered about the goth scene the more just I felt like I identified with them and just with the whole romantic the romanticized you know versions in the architecture the art the literature and discovering the music and it was just like spoke to me and I just felt like I really belonged there and the people I felt I could really just connect with and there was just like a really neat connection there and I really like that. The Lord made us all unique and it's, he did not, when he made us Christians, he didn't stamp us with a cookie cutter mold. We are all different and being goth is, you can be Christian and goth because goth is not about religion. It's a lifestyle, it's interest. It's definitely not about religion. So you, you can be Christian and you can be God. I think that if you asked a mainstream Christian who has no exposure to God, what they think of God, they're going to come up with satanic ritual, evil, all kinds of uh, occultic type stereotypes. I think, you know, mainstream Christians, uh, they get their information from mainstream media, which is, you know, it, it is very stereotypical in how it portrays goth culture. Obviously, there was Columbine, and every time there's a school shooting, uh, goths always get the crosshairs pointed at them, which I think is quite unfair. But um, but it really takes just education, uh, proper education, to learn uh, and to teach people about. Uh, goth culture and that it's not evil or satanic or you know they don't sacrifice animals or anything silly like that you know the the aspect of gothicness is not just about embracing darkness although some of them uh, do like that aspect um, I think the issue is that those that choose the darker side have a number of reasons uh, some of them just simply like the art and the, and the things, but some of them are actually hiding from real darkness in their lives. They've been abused. Um, 
They've been ignored. Uh, a lot of the ugliness they put on, the tattered clothes, the way they do their makeup and stuff is deliberately to scare people away. Ironically, I think Goss are trying to scare the darkness away and I, th I think we embrace things that we're kind of afraid of or we're trying to conquer and to some degree kids are trying to get past the darkness they've been exposed to in their lives by, and, and it's kind of a uh, uh, and embrace it so that it won't hurt me anymore and uh, so and Christians can't as an overall arching can't say uh, that they haven't been part of that darkness. A lot of these kids were abused in churches uh, and by churches in various forms and formats. Uh, people don't always have somebody to go to, you know, that understands, like, if they're a cutter or, uh, you know, heaven forbid that they watch a scary movie and liked it, you know. It's like, oh, well, you're not Christian enough, you know, or something like that. Or I got... I got one, one letter from a boy who said, <clears throat> I found ChristianGoth.com tonight, and it saved my life. I was going to kill him. I was going to kill myself tonight, and your life saved my life. They still believe in something, and... They, they've just either been hurt or jaded or something so badly that they just don't want to be associated with mainstream religion of any kind because they're still searching inside. Being a Christian, you know, we're in a, we're in a fallen world and you're still a goth. It's just you're now saved by grace and, you know, you learn where to draw the line in certain areas. Just over the years, like, I've gotten closer to God just before it was, I really f was identifying myself with the scene in general, whereas I should have been finding my identity in Christ. Because dark is not darkness to God. So there is no darkness with God. There is no uh, <clears throat> ability for us to be darker than God can be light. And uh, so in the long run, the darkness is irrelevant. Uh, it, we all have darkness in our souls, uh, and uh, again, there will be people who will deny that. They think they've arrived, and they think that, but we're human, and we're flawed, and we're sinful, and we have darkness, and we have to learn how to deal with it, and that's the way these kids deal with it. Uh, at the same time, they're dealing with, with God as an answer to that um, in the midst of all that as well, so it's, it's perfectly plausible to be able to embrace a dark look at life uh, and uh, still recognize that uh, there's a big tough hard God out there who can handle a big tough hard world.